In this video, you will learn how Marco Llorente trains. Alright, what's going on guys? It's Emil, and I'm back with another analysis on how the pros train. And I think this video will be helpful to many of you guys because there are some really good exercises in this video. And I know some of you have been asking for Neymar training, so that video is currently in the making and it will be uploaded in the near future. Okay, so let's get started. Here we have professional soccer player Llorente. He used to play on Real Madrid, and now he's playing on Atletico Madrid. He's a central midfielder, and as we know, or as we can see, he's very lean, very strong, and that's all because he does these uh, workouts consistently, day in, day out, and he works really hard. Right now, we could see him working on his upper body, and core stabilization okay so this exercise right here is also great for working on core strength notice that between each twist Llorente adds a push-up to work on his upper body as well exercises such as these are great for a football player because having a strong core will help you shield and protect the ball better Next, we have an agility drill. This is great for working on quick changes in direction, which as we know is super important in the game because you will rarely run forward. The ball will bounce and you will need to make a quick sharp turn. This exercise is also great for preseason because um, there's a fitness element to it. As you can see, Urente does one, two, three, four, five jumps, and then he sprints all the way to the next cone and goes back, and it's sort of like a circuit. Do the jumps, next cone, and keep repeating all the way to the last cone. Cincuenta. And here we got a great exercise really strengthening the groin area. I personally love this because it is great for injury prevention. Uh, you know, most people think stretching is the only thing they need to do, but actually making an area of your body stronger also helps because it makes uh, pulling a muscle harder. If you really think about it, the stronger your muscles are, the harder it is for you to get injured doing any type of movement. So make sure you're focusing on um, strengthening that groin area and stretching also. Now we can see him on the pitch doing more soccer specific ball work and it's all at a high intensity. There's also a lot of agility work, and like we mentioned before, we know that it's super important to be able to change directions quickly in the game. So I'll sort of let this clip play out, and you guys can watch, but I want you to notice how fast he's doing everything, and it's all quick, sharp, uh, lots of changes in direction, and this will all translate into the game, and then um, he gets played the ball, and that helps him also work on it. Wow, I just wanted to mention, look at Llorente's physique. Lean, almost no body fat, and the exercise he's doing right now works on explosive power in the legs. This is great for increasing acceleration, and same with the exercises uh, he's been doing, really working on strengthening his legs, and with added resistance, this will make him super quick, and be able, he'll be able to retrieve those loose balls in the game. Weightlifting is great for um, making those muscles stronger. 
and then we move into single leg squats. So I grouped these couple of workouts together because I really wanted to show how often a professional works on things like this. I mean a 5, 10, 15 yard sprint to recover the ball is super common in the game and little things like this right here will really go a long way. Not only does it work on explosive power, but it strengthens those quads and adding the weight that he's holding will also help arm strength. Next, we move into plyometric lunges. So Yorente has two kettlebells, one in each arm, and he's sliding back one leg and then doing the same with the other. And this right here really works on the legs as we've talked about, expl explosive power and strengthening them in general. And then we move into box jumps. So he's gonna start at the top and he's gonna quickly drop to the bottom and without waiting he's gonna jump onto the next box. This works on the fast twitch fiber muscles in our legs and he's gonna finish with a jump on a one leg onto the trampoline and that works on balance and then he's gonna move into balancing on an exercise ball while doing um, arm exercises. So this may look weird and I assure you it is dangerous. But this balance right here, like super engages the core and that's exactly what players should be doing because the stronger your core is, the better uh, you're able to shield the ball and you can just hold it up better. And then he's gonna move into some rope swings and this is all once again the core and you can see he's also tensing his legs and it's just super intense, great workout and this is, all of these exercises are what is gonna make you stronger. And here once again we have another groin exercise and it also works on the legs because we can see he's squatting but this added resistance certainly makes um, a huge difference because you can only get so far doing body weight exercises you know the more resistance you have the harder it is and you can just progress maybe one day you start at five pounds and you work up to 10 15 but your body weight it's a constant so if you start working on body weight, it's great, but over time, you're going to get used to it and you're not really working on anything. So by adding that resistance, you're really breaking through and getting much stronger and becoming more lean and just having a better all physique. And here we see he's doing some bicep curls, or actually these are sort of like tricep curls because bicep curls would be the other way. But yeah, he's working on arms in general and then he's gonna progress into a really good ab exercise. So you're holding a plank, but you're also pulling on a resistance band and it's even harder because you're basically bouncing on one, uh, one, one arm instead of two and you're pulling which is engaging your obliques which is the side muscle like part of your body. And once again we're doing lunges. So soccer you play with your feet right? So it makes sense for your legs to be the strongest part of your body. But also your upper body needs to be strong so you can shield the ball as we've talked about. But yeah, lunges are pretty much the go-to exercise for improving those quads and strengthening your hamstrings. So that's why Urente focuses a lot on doing exactly just that. And here we have another sprint because sprinting is great for working on explosive power and just becoming faster in general. And he's actually pulling a uh, weight He's pulling, uh, I think it's like a sled, yeah, with added resistance. So that's great for the explosive power, acceleration, you know, everything that we've talked about. And now he's just decelerating. And then we move into more um, core stabilization exercises. So he's bouncing on one leg, which is uh, also great for uh, not only the core, but the upper body as well, uh, especially um, your legs too. And then he moves into some uh, lunges on a box with some added resistance on his shoulders.
Next, he progresses into some sharp turns and more agility work. So he's gonna strap on um, some resistance to hold them back, and he's gonna sprint to one cone, and he's gonna backpedal to the next, and he's sort of just gonna do this 10, 10 times, and this is super good for working on your changes in direction and just being quick off the start and being able to decelerate. Okay, and the final exercise we have is uh, probably the most complex one. It's just single leg squats, but we can see there's two bands and there's also a ball. And this ball, it's actually weighted, so it probably weighs around 8 to 10 pounds. And this is just more core stabilization and working on strengthening your legs. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that was helpful. Uh, like I said, next video is probably going to be Neymar training, so keep a lookout for that. I want you to subscribe, I want you to like, and yeah, peace out guys.